So joining me in studio, Mary, Mary Wilson from Sarah Harding. Good morning, Mary. Good morning. A little more comfortable out there this morning. Um, yeah, it's starting to feel like fall. So when the weather is really hot, how do the residents handle that? I mean, do they pretty much stay inside or what do they all yeah, do? Yeah, some of them will venture out on the uh, out in front or out in back and just get a little fresh air. But they don't stay out there very long when it's uh, up in the hundreds. Like they have some was. shade out there? Yes, there's like a canopy on both the front and the back, and there's trees back in the back. Okay. So, yeah, if the sun's in the right position, there's sh shade out there. So. Very good. So, you got any specials going on right yeah, now? Yeah, we're still doing our August and September special until the end of September, and that's half off of that move-in fee. It's normally $1,700, and so half off is $850 savings. You're a math major. <laughs> I just do it. No, I'm not a math major. Oh. But I so what kind do. of openings do we have right now at Sarah Harding? We've got, um, we've really got some very lovely apartments open right now. Um, a couple of good sized apartments with kitchens. So if someone's interested in wanting to still continue to do their meal prep and everything, these would be a great opportunity. Oh, so it's good to hear now, of course. Couples and singles, so you've got both there at Sarah Harding. We do. We do, yeah. And they certainly can come in and just make themselves at home, and we'll make them feel comfortable, and they can eat with us if they want to in the dining room. Some choose to do both. So that's a great way, I mean, to find out about Sarah Harding. You'll have a tour, maybe mm -hmm. get the opportunity to have a meal. Mm -hmm. And I know some of the residents really enjoy sharing what Sarah Harding Living is all about. They do, and they like to show off their apartments. So if, you know, if the right one is around, they love to have people come, and they'll open up their apartments so someone can see what it looks like furnished. It's hard to visualize, even for me sometimes, <laughs> okay, where, can, where will my special curio cabinet fit or whatever that they want to bring with them? And so that's a perfect opportunity to get to get a feel for that sort of thing. Yeah, that's a good point. Mm -hmm. People would like to make a tour. I would imagine they probably need to call first, right? If they want to be sure to have someone there, yes, because I'm in and out of the building so much. Usually Anna or Becky are around, and they're willing to give a tour. And even on the weekends, we've got our front desk person would be happy to take them around. And what's the phone number? Two four three one three four one. All right, very good. Now coming up will be the Alzheimer's Walk, and I know you're a big part of that. Yes, I'm part of the committee for the Alzheimer's Association, and the walk is on September twenty third, Saturday morning, the twenty third. And Sarah Harding is doing a fundraiser this Friday, uh, right at Sarah Harding. You don't even have to get out of your car. We are selling Happy Joe's Pizza by the Slice. A bottle of water, cookie, and a scoop of ice cream for $5 donation. Well, that's good now. So it's drive up? Drive up. We'll have someone that will bring it right out to your car. And you tell us what kind of pizza. We'll have three or four different um, flavors of pizza. And they can tell us what they want. And we're going to bag it up. And you can just drive off and go sit under a tree at the park <laughs> or something to eat. <laughs> so it's this Friday. What are the hours on that? From 11 to 1. Okay, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Don't need to call ahead, just pull up? Just pull up, and if we run out, we run out. And Happy Joe's promised us that they would make sure we have plenty of pizza. All right, so. very good. So that's Friday. Now, I know coming up on Saturday, Christy of Addington Place comes in every once in a while mm -hmm. as well. And they've got a craft fair going on for Alzheimer's as well. Yes, right now, a lot of the fundraisers, and Chrissy is on our committee as well, and several of us are doing different fundraisers. The Alverno has done food trucks. We're doing this. Chrissy is doing her vendor fair. So this is such an important thing with Alzheimer's and dementia becoming so prevalent in the community and among even younger people now. So September 23rd is the actual walk. What are the hours on that? Uh, I believe the actual walk starts around 9. We're usually done and gone by around 1030 or so. Uh, the opening, the gates open earlier than that, of course, and we have like a um, opening ceremony around 8 o'clock. And that's all down at Nelson Corp Field? Yes. 
Yes. That's going to be a big day on the riverfront because the Bacon and Brew Fest is taking yes. place later that day. So you guys are going to be out of their way by the time oh, they yeah. move in. Yeah, we're we're out of there well before lunch. But they might want you might want to stick around and go to the Bacon and Brew Fest. We might. <laughs> we might. <laughs> so if people want to find out more information about this, and of course Sarah Harding, how can they best do that? Mary? Sure, they can sure call us at two four three one three. For one, and if you're interested and you want us to hold maybe uh, a couple of lunches for you, give us a call and we'll stick them back. The the uh, pizzas will be kept in a warmer, and we'll make sure you get something. So that's this Friday, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Just mm -hmm. drive up at Sarah Harding there, of course, on the uh, front drive on yep. Bluff Boulevard. On Bluff. All yes. right, very good. Harry, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thanks, Gary. Check of the weather now. Brought.